Hello and welcome to Firearm Safety with uh, the Northern School of Game and Wildlife and the Bagara B14 rifle. So this video will look at uh, safely loading rifles. So we've got two major types of rifle action that we can load that use a bolt. We have uh, detachable box magazines which can be loaded externally of the rifle and we have um, internal magazines or drop plate magazines which are uh, part of the rifle action uh, cannot be detached and have to be loaded down through the uh, breech of the action. So each one of those can be loaded differently. The other thing that we need to understand about loading rifles is there are two load states. Technically a loaded rifle is any rifle that has ammunition in it, be, it that, be that the magazine or the chamber. So to differentiate between the two states we have what's called underloading which is where we can make the rifle exist in a state where there are rounds in the magazine but no rounds in the chamber. Now for uh, a practical working gamekeeper that load state is essential to know how to achieve because one it uh, allows you to uh, work from a vehicle with no round in the chamber but rounds in the magazine so when you're lamping um, it's very useful because we aren't uh, sat in a vehicle with a loaded rifle or a made ready rifle the other load state we have is made ready that's where we can have rounds in the magazine and rounds in the chamber. Now this is the most dangerous load state. Realistically we only want to be in that load state when we are at the point that we're going to pull the trigger. Unless we're a woodland deer stalker and we're working in really confined areas uh, where we don't have time to chamber a round from the magazine to the chamber. So let's have a look at how we underload a um, box fed, a box magazine fed rifle. So what we're going to have to do is make sure this rifle is completely unloaded first. So we check the safety catch is on so we don't have any accidents and then what we're going to do is we are going to do a visual check back into the bolt face and we're going to put our finger in there to check that there's no uh, ammunition there. We're going to visually look to check there's no ammunition there. We're going to check down both with our finger and with our eyes that there's no magazine and no rounds in the magazine and that we do a check up into the uh, chamber to make sure there are no cartridges sat in the chamber. Again we do that with both our fingers and our eyes. If we're doing this at night it's very important that we use a torch so that we can inspect these uh, areas of the action properly and um, that's one of the main reasons that we like to use our fingers to check um, whether there are rounds there or not because if it's dark if we feel right into the chamber we know there's not a round there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to prove the rifle is empty or prove the rifle is safe by working the bolt three times. So from the close position, one, two, three. We work the rifle three times to make sure that we've potentially ejected any rifles that were in the magazine, uh, any cartridges that were in the magazine, any cartridges that were in the chamber, um, and then we'll just do another quick visual check back down forward that we've definitely emptied the rifle. Proving is really important to show other people that the rifle is safe and empty and really the amount of times you work the bolt should correspond to the magazine capacity or the number of cartridges that we can fit in the magazine uh, because that's how many times we need to cycle rounds out of the rifle. So to carry out a safe underload on a rifle we've checked the safety catch, we've checked it's empty and we've uh, proved the rifle clear. So now we're happy the rifle is completely empty, we're going to lock the bolt forward and down so that it's locked shut, ensuring that no rounds enter the chamber and that the uh, rifle barrel is unloaded. 
Next we take the magazine and place the magazine into its housing, listening for the click. The next thing I would do, especially if we're out lamping, shooting foxes at night, is I would just give that magazine a little pull to make sure um, that we've located it fully because what we don't want to do is drop a magazine out of our rifle when we're out on the hill um, and we then lose some firearms rifle ammunition and the ability to shoot for the rest of the night. Once we've done all that, we check the safety catches on and um, that is us in the under load position with rounds in the magazine but no rounds in the uh, chamber. What we then do is, let's say we were lamping, if we spotted a uh, fox that we wanted to shoot, what we then do at that point is check the safety catch and carry out a make ready. So a make ready is a very simple action. We point the rifle in a safe direction. So if the cartridges go off while we move them around the action, the uh, bullet will exit the barrel in a safe direction. And then to uh, chamber around or make ready, we open the bolt up to the top, pull it fully to the rear, push the bolt forward, listening for the round entering the chamber and watching the cartridge enter the chamber. And then we lock the bolt down fully and there we have a made ready rifle. Quick save to catch check. At that point you'd get into a firing position. We then make sure that the uh, animal that we're aiming to shoot at is one, a legal quarry species and two, a target species for what we want to do with our cool plan. And then we would get into the shooting position, identify the silhouette through the optic, build up our position so that we're safe and steady. And then at that point, we take the safety catch off and squeeze the trigger. And that would release the shot. All of which, um, for a practiced rifle shot, should take no more than seconds, not minutes, as I've just taken as I talk through the drill.